Hey YouTubers, it's me Virginia and I'm going to try and get this video uploaded. I cannot tell you how many videos I have made and have not been able to upload for one reason or another. I upgraded my Cyberlink video making program to from 8 to 9.0 and I've had nothing but problems with it and it's just been one huge headache. So I'm using Windows Live Movie Maker here and I know it's very limited so I just got to get over it. Um, I want to talk a couple, about a couple, two, three things today. So this might be a two-parter, and I apologize for the length of it. But I've, I've, uh, like I said, just made several videos and haven't been able to upload them. So now you're getting it all at once. Um, I have officially been diagnosed with reactive hypoglycemia, and um, it took me forever to understand what that was. Um, even in our chat last Friday night, I wasn't. Yeah, I was still swimming in all of this stuff, and now I've gotten to know it a little bit better, and I have an appointment with a nutritionist later today, and uh, I just have a thousand questions for that poor nutritionist. Um, reactive hypoglycemia is not like regular hypoglycemia. Hypoglycemia is when your sugar falls, and you need to get it up real quick, and you end up taking glucose tablets or something to get it back up. Um, the reactive hypoglycemia, your body is reacting to a sugar intake or high carbohydrate intake, which was really difficult for me to understand because I've been on a low carb diet for I don't know how long and um, I just started adding some carbs back into my diet and that's when the nausea started. Uh, the glucose tolerance tests came back where my sugars were low after drinking the stuff. Um, not severely low. I do not break out in heart sweat. I don't have the heart palpitations and stuff like a dumping syndrome. Um, I don't have any of that kind of stuff. I just get nauseated. Um, so then I'm feeling pukey all day long. I just want to lay down on the couch. I don't want to move because the whole world is, you know, making me nauseated. It's like being on a a boat, uh, motion sickness, uh, morning sickness, any of those kind of nausea feelings, that's the, what I was experiencing. Um, and like I said, I, I didn't do high carbs, so I was really, really confused with the whole thing. My body cannot differentiate the difference between eating an apple or eating a piece of candy. It just knows there's something sweet in the bloodstream and we're going to make you sick. Um, I cannot even mix the protein with the sweets. Um, I know I was talking with Patricia, and she can eat an apple with um, um, a cheese stick or a piece of cheese. I can't. That apple is going to make me feel nauseated, so I have to stay away from it. So what is healthy nutrition, true nutritionist for me is not going to be I can't say the word nutritious, nutritious for you. Uh, my body just isn't working that way. Um, I am probably trash truck. I am probably more confused about food and nutrition today than I have ever been in my whole life. So um, I am going to work hand in hand with this nutritionist. I am going to um, do everything that he or she, I don't know who it is yet, he or she is going to tell me and um, just take it from there. Um, I wonder if this isn't self-inflicted because I have been on a low-carb diet for so long and now that I started to add whole complex carbohydrates to my diet, my body is like, oh, what is this? You know, we haven't had whole wheat bread in forever. Uh, but you know what's really weird is I had a half of a whole wheat sandwich on Sunday and it did not make me sick. So anyhow, there is a, a, um, a website called nutritiondata.com I have used for a long, long time. It's real similar to my food diary, spark people, all those kinds of things. But what's really neat about this particular um, website is it tells you everything you could possibly want to know about that particular food, nutrition-wise vitamins, minerals, um, fullness level, um, glycemic load, which is something I need to pay attention to. And 
fortunately I already knew about this site I was already using it and um, now I'll be looking at that glycemic load um, Rosemary's protein cake has a glycemic load index of 2 and that's probably why I can eat that uh, slice of that protein cake and it not bother me so I really need to pay attention to that and I do not know what level I can get to before I start feeling bad, which is something I'm sure I'll be learning in the future. Um, I remember that something to do with 14 grams of um, sugars before it start, or the sugar alcohols, seven, seven or eight grams of sugar alcohols before it sent me into a, a total upset stomach thing. So I do know that. I know I can chew one piece of sugar-free gum and I get gas. So I have to really be careful with any kind of sugar. And now because of the reactive hypoglycemia, I have to be even more careful, which, you know, sends me into tizzy. Um, so the I will keep you all posted on this whole reactive hypoglycemia. I know uh, Melting Mama suffers from it. I've heard several videos here lately that's been going on. I um, have been going through this whole nausea thing for probably about two or three months now. And I'm just now being diagnosed with it because I just couldn't take the nausea. So if that's what you're experiencing, feeling kind of pukey, not feeling good, you know, a couple of hours after you eat, and you cannot pinpoint it, it's very difficult to, to diagnose the reactive hypoglycemia because you aren't doing what the hypoglycemia normally does so it takes some um, you know little trickery to figure out what the whole deal is um, fortunately I have a doctor that picked it up real quick I explained to her what I was going through she knew I'd had gastric bypass and she just put it all together and sent me for that glucose tolerance test and uh, now I'm seeing a nutritionist so um, my weight is holding at 137 it's hanging on to that last pound for dear life. Um, and I've increased my activity level now that I'm not nauseated. And um, I'm going to do another video right behind this one to talk about uh, my new activities. So stay tuned for that. Bye for now.